This is Kat with Vita Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to wrap a needle case in peyote stitch. Now I have a really fun little example here that I did in a Summer Brights color palette. And this is the smaller version. I'm gonna show you the larger version here in just a moment. But this is the needle case. You can store all of your needles. This is ideal for like a size 12, 10, um, even a 13 or 15 size needle in here. And the little cap just sort of sits on just like that. Now I added a little chain to mine just because I am always losing things. So I wanted to make sure that I never lost my little cap. So he's always attached, but this is just sort of an extra step that you don't have to do if you don't want to. So but we are gonna be doing that needle case here today. So, all right, so let me set that one aside. So I've gone ahead and done the main portion of my pattern here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be wrapping our needle case and we're also gonna be wrapping that little topper here. So before I get started, I'm sure one of the main questions you guys are gonna have is how big is this pattern and how big is the pattern for the smaller one? So let me start by saying, I've decided to do an odd count pattern for both of mine here. You could do an even count. If you're gonna do that, I say decrease the number by one bead. You can increase it, but you run the risk of kind of getting towards the top and bottom of your needle case. So for the smaller one here, the piece of peyote that I did for the main body was 28 beads by 31. So it's 31 long and 28 around. And this topper here is five by, of course, 28. So down here, this one that we're gonna be doing for the larger piece is 57 long and 28. And this again is the five and 28. So if you're curious about making a pattern, that's what I recommend. If you, like I said, if you wanna do an even count, I would go to 56 and to 30. So just to get that out of the way, cause I'm sure you guys are gonna have questions about that. All right. So let's get into actually making this happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up wrapping our peyote around here. But as you can see, we don't want it to slip or move around. So we're gonna be using a little touch of E6000 on the body of our needle case there. Now, one of the things is if you are gonna do the step of attaching that jump ring and a little piece of chain to hold them together, you're gonna need to pick out a couple of coordinating colors um, or you could do contrasting colors as well, of the two little beads that are gonna sit up top there. So we're gonna be using four millimeter 22 gauge jump rings. And the reason I want you to do this before you start adding that bead is we're gonna open up one of those jump rings there and we're gonna test to make sure that it fits through that little bead. Because some of the beads do have different cores, you know, so I just wanna make sure that you pick out a good bead that you're not gonna have trouble with because you don't wanna go through the whole trouble of trying to attach it and then ending up not being able to get that jump ring through. There we go, all right. So those two beads are gonna be my beads, so I'm gonna set those aside there. I'm gonna leave my jump ring out. And we're gonna take some E6000 here, and I've got a couple of toothpicks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a pretty decent sized glob on my toothpick there. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda of like run it up and down here. You notice that I'm kinda of scraping it because you just wanna get a little bit of glue all the way around. Not too much, but you just wanna get a nice little thin layer because you don't wanna do too much because you don't want it poking through those beads, but we definitely want to secure our work to this and you can see that I'm actually not I'm staying pretty in the center I'm not going all the way to the top or the bottom with this all right just a little bit more there there we go all right let me close up my glue real fast all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to center it onto our needle and we're just going to start to kind of wrap the peyote around as though we're sort of just rolling up a rug all right, and then start pressing together. And you want this to be a tight fit, which is why I did 28 beads. You can see there's a nice little gap, but we're gonna close that up. But I'm just kind of pushing it together and just rolling it up. You can kind of roll it on your work surface as well, just to make sure you're getting all those little pockets out of there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is you can see that it has a nice little zigzag so we're just gonna come over the top and start zigging and zagging, but don't forget to add your bead 
at the top there. So just pick up your bead and then immediately go through that first bead that you see right there. So it'll sit sort of on top. There we go. And it should sit above there once we kind of start squeezing everything together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across the way and this is sort of what we call zipping up the peyote. So you're going to come over and it's going to, you can start to see now it's going to sit right there on top as those beads come together. So now I'm just going to go back and forth between each little bead here going down the way. And this is sort of almost as if you were going to add a whole extra row of the peyote stitch. So you're kind of just picking up those beads in the same order. So let me just kind of turn this around there. There we go. Making sure our bead sits up nice and tall there, keeping good tension. There we go. So you can see that they're already starting to seamlessly join up at the top there. So I'm going to keep going all the way down. Make sure you're not missing any beads here. And you have a little bit of time to work with the glue, so don't worry about kind of rushing this step too much. But I'm going to keep going here to zip up all the way until we get all the way down to the bottom. All right, so I'm just getting to the end here. And you can see that there's a nice seamless line. You almost can't even see where I started and stopped my pattern, which is exactly what we're going for here. Just finishing up the last couple, just making sure everybody's nice and happy there. All right. And going down through the last one. Making sure that your thread does not keep going up and over. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to kind of smoosh that together, keeping, again, good tension there. And this is my tail, so I'm going to get this one out of the way. So the one I'm holding with my two fingers up there, that's my tail. This is the one with my needle attached. So you can see that there's a little gap there in between the two beads. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of loop back around and go up through a few beads. Just to kind of close that gap. Again, we're looking for that sort of seamless look. Yes, yeah, so you can see just how that closed up really nicely there. All right, so I'm going to go up through another bead here. And it's going to start to get a little tight, so just work your needle through. Don't worry too much about that. We just don't want you to crack a bead at this point. So now I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to try to work my needle back down towards the bottom edge here so that I can tie a knot and tie it off. So like I said, you're going to get a little tight here. So we're just going to find the nice little sweet spot to put our needle through. And we're just going to go down through the bottom two there. And I'm going to catch this little thread bridge here at the bottom if I can. There we go. So I caught my little thread bridge and I'm just going to tie a little tiny knot. And then I'm going to go back up through a couple more adjacent beads. All right, so there we go with that one. I'm going to cut this one off. And then all I'm going to do with my other little thread tail is I'm just going to do the same thing and just kind of work it through a couple of beads, tie a little knot, and then tie it off. All right. So I'll do that, and then we'll be back, and I'll show you how to attach the top, and then we're going to add our chain, and we're going to be all done. All right, so we're just going to repeat that process using the little thin strip and our topper there. So first things first, I have my bead all set up and ready to go. Let me get some little bit of E6. I'm going to need a new toothpick. <laughs> and we're going to just put a little bit on there. That actually might be too much, but close that up. <clears throat> all right. And again, just kind of put a little bit on there. Yeah, that was a little much. All right. This one needs even less, but we still want to get a nice little coating that goes all the way around there. All right, so now that we have that done, 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing here and just kind of wrap it around and you can kind of slide it around just to make sure that it's at the level that you want it. There we go. All right, moving that around, there we go. And to the bottom, so where the opening is here, is where we're gonna wanna add our little bead. So it's the same thing, we're just gonna go through, wrap around and sew up our little zip here. So again, just kind of zig zigzagging back and forth. And I'm sorry if my fingers are getting away. This is just really intricate work here. Here we go. All right, so and then same as before, we're just gonna end up tying it off in the same manner. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do here, and you can see that it kind of came together nicely at the end. So we're just going to attach our chain to our two little purple beads that we have added. Now you can add as long of a chain as you want. I'm gonna use about two, two and a half inches here. So I'm gonna take, again, this is a four millimeter 22 gauge jump ring. I'm gonna hook it onto my chain and I'm gonna hook it right onto that little bead right there and just come in and close that up. And then take another one here and we're gonna just, of course, attach the other end of that chain to our little topper. Just slide that through, there we go. And close it up. Making sure we get a nice closure. All right, and you're all done. So now you can add your loom needles to this nice long case and keep your topper intact. I love these little cases. I think they're so fun. They make great little gift ideas if you're wanting to give a gift to a beater or even a quilter or a sewer. So just really fun little things to do. Be sure to create your own pattern. You can head over to beadaholic.com. We offer you um, a blank piece of paper uh, with the proper grid on it for peyote, so be sure to check that out. And these full patterns will be available by heading over to beadaholic.com.